The light from the sun, which is 93 million miles away from us, takes only eight minutes to reach us. That's because the light travels at 186,000 miles per second. So answer me this, why did it take almost two weeks for me to get this? Let's get into it, right here, right now. Okay, so since I've been waiting for this for so long, I decided to open this package with my handy Smith & Wesson Extreme Ops pocket knife. You might be better off getting those safety scissors that you got for your five-year-old if you're not as skilled as I am. The packaging was really good, and everything in this box was sealed in plastic. Oh, and don't forget to check the model number on the box. You'd be pretty disappointed if you found out that this was the $3,000 model, wouldn't you? I wouldn't. I was really surprised to see the canvas carrying case. It just makes you feel like if somebody really cares. You know what I mean? The included items inside were a manual, one-year warranty information, LED light, power cord, and power adapter. You know, I didn't find any of those small little silicone packets. Man, I wanted to kill as much bacteria as I could this year. Now let's check this baby out. The light has a solid metal housing, metal bracket, and plastic attachments. Notice two knobs. The top is for the yellow LEDs, the bottom is for the white LEDs. That's the reason you have bicolored. They're both independent. The 12 to 15 volt power connector looks rock solid and durable. And of course, this thing says it's made in China. But you already know that everything on the face of this earth comes from there, right? So let me tell you something. Trying to open up these barn doors for the first time was just like begging that little stiff lip baby to eat that spoonful of mashed vegetables that you spent all day making. It's not gonna happen. You know, whoever built this thing must have had some tiny fingers. Okay, no comment. So I finally opened these babies up and I found this removable light diffuser. Man, they thought of everything, didn't they? I should have had them build my first house. Nope, ex-wife is still there. Forget that. So now I'm ready to mount this onto the light stand. It's important to remove the black screw cap from the stand since the base of the light is custom fitted to accommodate the fitting. Make sure the light is attached firmly by tightening the screw in the right direction. You ever hear the phrase lefty loosey righty tighty? Well, I might have just saved you about three hours trying to figure that out. And if you feel brilliant right now, well, please subscribe to my channel. Man, I kind of like these glasses. It makes me feel like Casey. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Listen, for real. I just want to talk to you guys a little bit more about the details that weren't covered in this video and some of the things that the manufacturer did not provide. The weight on this is three pounds, three ounces. The dimensions are nine inches by eight inches by two inches. And the on off switch, if you have it to the left, that's for battery. And if you switch it to the right, that's for your power adapter. So let me go over some of the cons. The first con is that this will not swivel according to the way that they designed that bracket. When the barn doors are open, it does not swivel. The second con that I have is that the power transformer is hanging off the floor. If you have that stand above six feet, guess what? That thing's gonna be dangling off the floor. There's no way around that. So let's talk about the pros. You're getting a big bang for the buck. This is $57 and it looks like a pro light. It comes with a carrying case, and I'm gonna tell you something right now, it's a lot better than carrying around those dollar store bags. The third thing is that it looks and feels professional, good quality. So if you're planning on picking up this light, I recommend getting the newer NL660. It has the display on the back, but really it's just according to the needs, you know, whatever it is that you wanna do. Me, this is okay, it's not going anywhere. It stays right here in the studio, I got it set. I don't need to do anything else. I don't even need to look at the display. So that just about wraps it up. And again, I wanna thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. More videos on the way, okay? Don't forget this Monday night, I've got part three of the A7 series tutorials. So until then, live every day, laugh beyond words, right? And learn. Peace, baby. I'll see you next time.